Hello everyone and welcome to Learn by Watch. This is Bootstrap 5 from scratch. In today's session, we'll be covering is a image gallery. We'll be creating it with the help of Bootstrap components and layout. In layout, we'll be using grid system, which is very important part of Bootstrap. So do do watch this video till the end. Okay, now to start making our image gallery, first step is just copy the starter template from Bootstrap into your web page and save it. Then after that, what we are going to do, since we are going for an image gallery, first let's add a nav bar to make it look nice. So let's go to components, go to nav bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this nav bar with only brand image, right? So just gonna copy this and remove this H1 and place our navbar there. Now we don't have this image, right? So instead, I will just uh, just add some other image. For that, let's go and search for cartoon logo here. You can search for any cartoon logo that you can find and just put something there. Suppose I'm going to go with this one. I'm just going to copy image address and then put it inside the subline text. Again, you can see we did not get a dot jpg, so it's not the correct one. So what we can do is we can just change it to some other one. Copy image address and then paste it here and it's not ending with jpg if we just add dot jpg in the end if it's a dot jpg file it should work let's go back to our gallery and refresh and we got the small brand logo here so sometimes when you don't get dot jpg or something behind your image you can add it manually as well so just save this and now we have a nice nav bar. So after nav bar, the next part is to add the cards. And using the cards available in Bootstrap, we can make a nice image gallery. But before we uh, make use of cards, we must have a grid system. For grid system, I am going to, and what I am going to do is instead of copying something else, I am just going to copy this. Just copy this and the very first one. and Make sure you add it after the nav is closed. And then here we have our div class container row. And instead of all of this, first of all, we are going to have two rows. So just copy this row again. Okay, one thing we can do is we can just add a image img source here and in source img1.jpg. I have already stored some images in here. As you can see, image one, two, three, six images are there jpg jpg then jfif so based on that you can see the type so the first two are jpg so no worries here just gonna add img tag here img2 dot jpg then going to add again img tag here with img3 dot jfif and save and now i'm going to copy this row once I copy it, I'm going to place it here and instead of image 3, it will be image 4 and again JF, IF, image 5. Let me see whether this is JF, IF or JPG. Oh, it's JPG and the other one is also JPG. So 5th and 6th are JPG and JP. Save it. Let's go back and see how it looks. When we refresh, it's all scattered as you can see because of the image size can be very big and that is why, right? So what we are going to do here is we are going to give them some width and then they will be able to see all of that. Width and as you know. So yeah, so this is how you can add directly the image. And if you want to fix this, we'll have to give here style attribute and say style height and width. But instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I am going to go for bootstrap components and cart. And inside cart, I can just select this one. 
we have card, we have image source here, div, and everything. Just gonna copy this and place it inside the column here. So paste it here and then paste it here. Just before my images, I'm just pasting it, right? And later, what I'm going to do? Okay, uh, I am okay, cancel. I am going to put these image inside this image SRs. So this image will go to Control X, put it here, and you can just delete this. Then what we are going to do? We are going to go here. Just put ingq dot jpg save, and you can again remove this image tag. And again, you can just put it here. The same thing we are going to do here. Just copy the image source, paste it here. You can just remove this image tag now. And this is the last one. So, yeah. Let's see now how it looks. Let's go back refresh and oh this image is not loading i think that's because it was jpeg and i just gave jpg where is it uh, and now when we go back and refresh yeah we have the image now you can see that this one is going a bit down because of its height a big little big height so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select above i'm going to have a style sheet and inside the style sheet, I'll, call it, uh, I'll select all the image tags, ing tags, and I'm going to give them a height. So, uh, height which I should give is around 14 REM. Let's refresh. Oh, I, oh, okay. So, we had another image tag here. So, we just can't choose image like that. So let's give all of them this image class. Okay, and uh, whenever we have it, we can just add. So as you saw here, how I used class because I wanted some selected images to have these stylings. So I had to go for class. And yeah, done. So save, let's go back and refresh. And I think it's perfect now. Now we will just be giving, uh, there's this div row one, which ends here. I'll just give a br tag there. And refresh. And we have a bit. So this is my image gallery now. What I can do here is over in the first row, which we have here. First row, or you can say container, I will style it and give it a margin on top. So you can see how I'm mixing CSS and Bootstrap together. And margin top, which I'm going to give is like 20 pixels. And what else am I, go am I going to do? I am going to add a title here. Okay. So for title, h1, I will give class equal to text center. Text enter and then I will just close it here and inside we'll say these are images of some of my cartoons some of my cartoons something like that and let's go back and refresh and yeah these are images of some of my cartoons and then after this also what we can do we can give a style here and we can give margin bottom as 10 pixels at least and let's go back refresh we have some gap still if you think the gap is less make it here 30 and make it here 20 save refresh much better now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add a font family as well 
For font family, what we are going to do is we are going to use Google Fonts that we have already covered in the previous session. So we're going to go to Google Fonts, to search for Google Fonts, and Google Fonts, browse fonts. It has like above thousand text, and I'm going to use this text style. I'm going to select Add Select Style, and this is the link which will go in my type, uh, like in my head. You can add it here. And save and then they also provide us with the CSS so font family. Now, this font I want to be applied to the entire body of the document, so done. And let's go back and refresh. So, we have now our own image gallery using cards and bootstrap. I believe you coded along with me for image gallery. And now you have your own image gallery. You can use this in many websites which you are creating. And now I am pretty sure that you are advanced in Bootstrap and can use Bootstrap with ease. If you have any doubts related to Bootstrap, put them down below in the comment section and I will help you. I hope you like this course and thank you so much for staying till the end. Do like this video and share it with your friends and even subscribe to Learn by Watch for more such amazing courses. Thank you so much for watching.